Get ready to see an absolute bucket load of country houses on this server today. Uh, there might be three or four, but still, that's enough for me to take you around every corner of the globe. Speaking of the globe, let me show you the map of our world. So this month we'll be traveling around the length and breadth of the entire world. So we're starting off over here by Lode Abbey, showing you what landwan has been building, a small little village around there. Then it's time to hop, skip and jump across the ocean to an area close to Tremont in the United Colonies, where I'll be showing you some beautiful country estates, one built by Solar. I think there's another one in there as well. San Alexandro is also on our agenda for today, but that's not it. We'll be heading down to the lands of Bohemia, to the towns of Breslau and Karlovy, where a Swedish guy has been building some stuff including a comp build and we'll also be heading down to the newest town on the server Danzig down here in the lower part of the former Ganses Reich. So guys let's get straight into the game and I'll show you what these builders have been up to. And we kick things off here, as I mentioned, in Lode Abbey. Lanwan has been building this probably for over a year now, but there isn't a year's worth of work here. Not that I'm saying he's been lazy at all. No, um, Lanwan has worked on this place uh, for a while, and he's finally ready for me to show it off to you guys now. So this is Lode Village, based on Chawton in Hampshire. Now, it's a lovely little rural place. Let me give you a quick little flyover so you can breathe in all of the diagonalness. Yes. Angles are the game here. Now, I don't think there's a single building that isn't at an angle, apart from St. Nicholas's Church over here, a beautiful neo-Gothic church, which we'll get to in a bit, sits there on a lovely part of the bending, meandering river. Now, I don't know if any of you remember, but Lode Abbey was featured probably a year ago, if not slightly longer. That's just over there in the distance. We'll have a little fly over there so you can take a quick breathe in of this country house. Now, it'd be rude not to show off a beautiful Elizabethan manor house sitting here overlooking the village. Oh, what's that under the tree? Oh, picnic. And as always guys, things get off to a very chaotic start. I've now just suddenly taken the seat down and having a little bit of a cake. Let's go see what Lamon's been building before this video completely derails in what is the first two minutes. So we are greeted by many a house. This is a lovely large structure which I imagined is the vicarage. It's no sign on there. Even at an angle you can really breathe in the grandness of this five bayed Georgian house. Now I've been asked a bit in the comments about how you do scale for buildings. So on our server we tend to do windows being two blocks wide by three blocks Hi. Now, with the debug stick, we can obviously go in here and change the direction of these window panes. There we go. So you can turn that front and end bit off and it gives it an extra pane in the middle. Now you're also probably wondering, mm, these don't look like normal glass panes. No, in our texture pack, we do have the rims put around the edges, the window frames, uh, which really does help build on this lovely Georgian theme because Georgian styles are very subtle in their nature. You don't have too many details. Texturing, yes. Sort of little paint and bits and bobs elsewhere, yes. But lots of details, no. From that, you look at the building and you go, right, well, I reckon this wall's slightly wider than the window therefore it's probably about three blocks wide and from that as well and then you go right well that means it's probably about three blocks wide between those two windows and again and again and again and again and then hey you've got yourself the correct scale of width for a house now, when you've been doing that as well, you probably go, right, well, how tall is this thing to be? So think about it sort of floor level wise. So you've got one block above the ground there before you reach the windowsill. Then above that, you've got one more block where you probably put like the inside bit of the roof. Uh, and then above that, you probably have the level where the floor needs to go, one more block for the window ledge, and then you repeat again. And that's how you kind of get your scaling in game for these beautiful Georgian structures. And it works for all manner of buildings. I just thought I'd get that little technique in there uh, because a lot of you have been asking about that over the years. Right, so we're back on what I think is the high street. I just wanted to wander down and see the eclectic nature of these buildings. Now, angles obviously do sometimes hamper how a building looks, but I like what you've done here. So I imagine this is a pub. Uh, I only say that because of the sign sticking out the side. Um, but these wander on up here to the edge of the village. Now, there is a couple of fields I wish to show you out this way. Oh, the fields are over there. Right. <laughs> I've come the wrong way. Oh, this is a pretty cool little granary area. Oh, that's nice. Nice little touch. Oh, it's a mill. I should have known it's actually sitting on the bridge. Is there a mill wheel underneath? Uh, there is not. But I imagine that's probably where this went. Um, unless it's around the side. No, it's not. Oh, I tell a lie. It's here. I think. <laughs> Very ingenious there, Matt Lanwan. Very nice indeed. Okay, instead of the fields then, I think, oh no. I really have not come at this a very good way. Right, um, 
let's go to the church. Okay, so after my run around, I finally found my way to the church and wandering through the churchyard's always a blessing. Uh, never a curse, never a curse indeed. I've just taken interest in these trees here. So I think we spoke at length before about how you can use walls for trees. And this is a great way of using diorite mixed in with the birch wood there to give you a real impressive looking skinnier but large birch tree. It's a damn shame about those birch forests we never got, isn't it, Mojang? Isn't it? Anyway, let's let's leave that in the dirt. Um, yes, so we're inside the church here. It's a beautiful structure, a lovely colour, nice bit of sandstone being used here. Uh, nothing inside, I don't think, but I just want to wander around and see Belfry. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, that's beautiful. I do love these types of churches. Give that a quick little fly around there. Breathe in that inspiration, guys. And a beautiful graveyard with what looks to be um, an exhumed grave. Hello? Oh, there's luckily nothing in there. Sometimes sometimes there's people in these graves. Um, I have been in one before. That was not even in this country. Anyway, we digress. Right, I'm going to show you the fields, and then we shall move on to our next location. Fields. Done? Done. Now, let's go have a proper look at these fields, because I think Landman's put a bit of time and effort into them. So we've got a nice border around here with a low-lying hedge, which helps bring in that extra bit of detail along the road. Now, I see a nice cottage over there, but let's take a bit of shade under this oak tree as it hangs over, while the forest's carry on flying it's not really a phrase i thought i'd ever say really um no ignore that that is here because of a just an easier way to take our trees out of the workshop and place them sort of in a location where you can easily get at them now what many people probably won't know is what lies slightly yonder over there do i give you a sneak peek i might give you a sneak peek anyway here's a little steam engine tractor thing um i'm not entirely sure who built this it might be a design by goblin uh, i believe we've seen in the past uh, so if you do end up rebuilding it please credit either lanwan or goblin just because it's always good to credit builds, especially if you copy them from someone who is shown on here on one of these videos. There we go. Lovely little Georgian farmhouse sits nicely there overlooking the sunflowers and just everything. Oh, welcome. Welcome to the first place on our tour. And let's breathe. Let me show you what's on yonder. This is what's on yonder. My country house that was never to be. Well, it will be one day. Uh, what you can see here is the Hinton Admiral Estate as planned out by myself. And I think some of you watched the stream the other day with this in. This was meant for my entry for this month's uh, Discord server monthly competition that we do. Uh, the idea was country houses, hence why we all built country houses. And what you can see on the ground here is a good example of some planning going on. So the green are the edges of the land it will be covered in uh, fences or hedges. Uh, you've got the red dots which will be where all the tree trunks will go so we're going to have trees around this whole area and the gray will be the paths and over there will be a bowls lawn uh, because yes i play play bowls now and I, i'm i'm an old man uh 26 has hit me hard and there will be the walled gardens and stables so we will definitely see this again next month in all its glory i just thought i'd come over here and just try and show off what i have built for this month because it, it's been let's go Let's go stand up here. It's been it's been a long old time since I've built anything at all. Um, do you like to use a lodestone down here? I do. Anyway, let's move on from unfinished builds to some actual finished builds. Let's go see what Solar built for this lovely monthly comp. So you're finding me crawling around the undergrowth, well, actually underneath a tree, here in the grounds of the font. Now, this has been Solar's entry for this month's tour. I haven't turned around yet. No, on screen now, you're going to see a map that Solar has put together where he shows me where things are because I end up getting lost with a lot of stuff. Uh, that's just me. Right, back into the game. And now you can see the beginnings of what is a gorgeous New England country estate. And already my mind is just blown. The details are everywhere. Look at those crawlers over there with the... Uh, the actual trellises on the side of the, of the stables, the carriage house. Uh, we've got fruit trees in front of us and also this beautiful gatehouse. Let's start our tour by actually getting out of this woodland and probably into the house. Okay, so we are greeted by a very nice, good looking gatehouse here. Uh, really nice little building, uh, good proportions. It has that American feel to it. So we Scola has used iron blocks in here. Now, I'm not sure I've ever seen someone use iron blocks before. I know I've used them before myself once upon a time to do a similar structure that was well over two years ago now uh with a different texture pack on you could possibly make these corners of these debugged walls here look better which is the christa's fixed walls i believe it's called it is available to download via our discord but i do not use it um just because i think that's taking it one step too far we've already been through this many a time before ah uh, and one of my favorite features of any country house is, of course, the garden along with a greenhouse. Now, this is beautiful, making use of the copper there as a nice little detail around the top. We'll wander on through and see what's growing in here. 
Oh, breathe in that rooted dirt and come through to the little shack at the back and have a little seat down because you've sniffed in too hard all those herbs and spices as you walk through. Yes, I did say it the American way. <laughs> Anyway, in through to the garden, we do have some stuff planted through here. Uh, nice use of bamboo scaffolding there with the vines around it. I've never thought of that for an actual like grower thing. Uh, looks like you've got canes in the ground. You've got some azalea bushes there acting as fruit. Now, I think as we go around the whole estate, we're going to encounter a few of the state workers. And we have Jeff here who is doing the lawn mowing. He's part of the two-man uh, team here that look after the grounds. How are you doing, Jeff? He's a very tall man, but he was not gifted with much uh, in the way of speech. So he likes to just push his uh, his mower around, uh, keeping the grounds looking nice and fresh. And then we have Bill up here in the tree uh, who has misplaced half his body. But it's okay. He's just picking down some apples that we can eat off the ground here. Beautiful stuff. So uh, before we even got to the main house, everything here is just mind-boggling. I love it. Uh, these trees are really nice um, with lots of ferns in there as well and bits of grass to help bush that out. Now, a lot of people use a uh, bushy leaves pack or tree pack. Uh, I'm not a big fan of them. I think they're a bit too non-minecrafty but this using world edit to put these on top of these blocks i think looks perfectly fine gives you a good impression of how it'd look in minecraft if somehow the devs made a way of actually going hmm this is a great idea why don't we start making leaves with bits of grass on them anyway so i'm going to take you up higher uh as a famous song once said and just give you a breathed in view of the entire estate. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Right, I think it's time for us to head on over to that main house across the bridge via the coachworks here. So we have the coachworks right in front of us. I'm going to fly on round, give you a look at the top. Oh, I do love these little coplers up here. Oh, we got three of them, in fact. One of them, well, two of them have been made using the backside of looms, which is a good, good technique there. Uh, then we've got this really nice, interesting design for a weather vane, including the new copper and also a candle on that. And it just adds to even more of the landscape. Now, I don't know if there's anything inside. No, just bits of hay on the floor, bit of straw down there. But you have gone round and decked out the inside with a bit of a different pattern. Again, that's really nice. Not seen that before. That's barrels round there with some stripped, I believe that's spruce. Yes, spruce wood. Perfect stuff. Well, very nice solar. Okay, right. I think it's time to wander on up. Right then. So we're passing through the lovely big hydrangeas out here, looking back on the path. We meet the bridge along with some smoke squeaking and a nice little river a brook babbling through the landscape here goes off into a nice little tunnel over there as it wanders on mirandas mirandas meanders through the garden to pop out the other side we'll see in a bit nice little car design as we go on over the bridge i'm just gonna look at the bridge oh ho, 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 ho. i didn't know it was gonna look like that real real nice let's take a look at this side as well so we get the shaders working for us oh yes and in the water here is an idea i never thought about myself at all at all and that is using different shapes of stairs to give you the impression of an uneven rocky bottom in there lovely stuff right well over the bridge we go and towards the main house ah oh, i'm going to quickly change the shaders around well would you look at that an incredible collection of whites and darks now this screams new england america this screams beauty opulence and the man who owns this place the socialite the man is a very famous author and this must be some guests getting out lovely stuff indeed right so let's take a quick fly up and see the house real nice four story structure with a nice copula on top there and good detail i like the use of those colors up there uh, obviously we don't have any copper walls or anything like that to give that effect but that gives you a nice sort of coppery look to the top there roof looks great uh, i do like the deep slate in there always a nice touch and over here we have a flat roof with a little bit of copper in there again it's just these subtle little details really do help bring what could just be a plain white building into this beautiful structure right well we still have quite a bit to see so i'm going to wander through the courtyard and around this side through the side wall into the garden Right, up the side little step here, we're going to come across the top of the garden. And I think you can see why I put off landscaping my garden for a little while, because the level of stuff that these guys do, I've gone the wrong way, uh, is incredible. And I wish to match it as well. No, it's, where was it? Is it down this way? Oh, right. Seems to be down here, down a unpaved path. I, I believe it was paved, <laughs> but I don't think I've changed anything. Now, we are going to get a different view of this house, but we'll see that once we wander around slightly more. No, I have gone the wrong way. I just decided to come down past the uh, string quartet sitting out here in the garden playing some tunes on their beautiful violins. Now, I've never seen a violin made in Minecraft before. 
this this is probably as close as you're gonna get <laughs> lots of debug work involved there uh, and also we have the double bass here or the cello even uh, lovely stuff guys you want to play the band out while we're sinking on the titanic perfect perfect right so we're going to promenade around the rest of the garden into the formal garden section and yes beautiful stuff indeed i love the forest it's not too dense but you get sort of specks of stuff in there uh, nice little view sections but it really does help add as a backdrop Ooh, very nice we're very what well, this is really deep but also not all the way there that's an interesting feature now i'm gonna quickly change the time again background to get a better view of this area so we're gonna run on down through here i think the land sort of goes off into a bit more scrubby shrubbery area through there almost heathland uh, oh this is where the, the river comes back out again mm. Mm -mm -mm. Tasty stuff indeed. Uh, but yes, Solar, I want to just show off the rest of this house here before we move on to our next location. But still, man, I really, really, really am impressed with this. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. The entire structure. Let's let's go over here and see what's what's the final piece. Uh -huh. We have some, some ladies promenading around with some parasols up, another fountain, and just a nice little area to sit and chilling and that's what we shall do for several more days before we move on to our next location buckle up for our trip across the seas to breslau well guys you find me back here in breslau bowman a lovely lovely city built by a swedish guy with some additional buildings by Goonfink. Now we'll be having a look at this in a second but I've come inside here in what is the castle complex a sprawling section of the town a couple of buildings up here behind the church along with the beautiful cathedral there. Now this is obviously work in progress Ooh, uh, don't look at that uh, but there's some real nice stuff already like that Ah, do you know what? I've never seen a roof done like this before but from a distance it has that real nice sort of almost mansard-esque feel to it where it goes up and then slightly curves off uh, really hard to do i'm currently trying to do it with another country house that i started for no apparent reason lovely bit of um detailing here on the spire or uh, as it's also known the capital i think no the lantern that's what i'm trying to think of I'm, uh, capital because it has a nice lantern anyway so let's have a little wander down here uh, there's a few other bits we've got to show you now what has caught my eye is the texturing in these buildings now i know eastern european buildings do tend to look very nice and textured compared to those ones of a similar time period in England but this is incredible the use of blocks here is perfect so we have what looks to be jungle mixed in with some looms uh, interesting collection there uh, and also next door we have some oak mixed in with some beehives because why not oh beehive oh beehive <laughs> oh beehive don't want to say it again um and yeah that just really builds up through here this is also part of the castle so into a little courtyard inside oh I think that opens up that way as well Nice little font in the center. Yes, this is cool. This is nice. I love it. Lots of detail. Does this go up into this sort of a gallery? Oh, it does. Oh, that's nice. Anything inside? Just death. Okay. <laughs> okay, we won't be going in there. Right, let's head on out to uh, the new bridge and also um, some buildings by Ozzy along with Gookfink's um, tower. So I'm in the main square here. I believe where we need to go off is off to the uh, right over there, but I haven't been here for a little while and it's all starting to look really nice. There's lots of little details around the place. Uh, we've got the market and stuff coming to life over there. Nice buildings, some trees in the center now. Before when we came here, it was all fresh, new built. Uh, hadn't got any of this beautification in there yet, but this is stunning. Now I noticed something over here. Um, I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Uh, if you ever feel safe, please remember I'm out there. Um, um, hello? Is this Gook Finks? You okay, sir? I think, I think he may be dead. J do you think he's dead? Anyway, down this way is some places, um, towards some new townhouses. These ones just here, and these are some that Ozzy has recently built. And you can tell our Ozzy's, he just likes to use details and random blocks and stuff like that, but these are perfect. Good selection of eclectic townhouses, along with some nice market fronts and all of that. Um, lovely. Good stuff, Ozzy, as always. Now, I did spy behind me the tower, so I think if we head on back through this way and walk down the way that nature intends us to. Ah, yes. Shaders on, wandering on down. Over the new Charles Bridge? No. That's behind us. Um, this is just a new bridge that has been built recently. Like the word new wasn't good enough there. Um, let's have a little fly on down. So this links in with the rest of the river. Oh, that's rather nice. Good details on there. I like that. Uh, nice little river area as well. I wonder how this all connects in together. Uh, some more bridges over there. Uh, and this sweeps off around this way. Lovely bit of landscaping. Oh, incredible. Now, I think this is the tower. 
a real impressive structure. Just look at that roof. Oh, so many details going on there. Now, I've noticed some texturing up here that I've never seen done before, and that's in the form of using uh, the coal with the deep slate. Hell yeah, I like that. I think that's a great bit of texturing. Ah, I see that uh, Swedish guy is right here. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Um, Yes, lovely stuff indeed there. Well, guys, I think as this has been quite the bumper crop of stuff this month, I am walking backwards. I think it's time to end this video and pick it up again in part two, where we'll continue looking around at all of the country estates and everything else is how world has to offer. Otherwise, I'm just going to end up boring you to death with, ooh, that looks lovely. So until next time, guys, remember, get inspired, get building, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.